what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel where we have this question on the board which says if a plus b is equal to six times the square root of a b find the value of a over b well our first step towards solving this question will be for us to remove this radical and how do we do that it is simply by taking the square of both sides so i'm going to be taking the square of both sides so i have a plus b raised to the power of 2 equal to 6 times the square root of a b raised to the power of 2. so now the square of the left hand side will be a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared equal to the square on the right hand side will be 36 times a b now our next step will be for us to move this 2 a b to the right hand side so that I have a squared plus b squared on the left equal to 36ab. As 2ab crosses to the right, it becomes minus 2ab. Now, this simplifies to a squared plus b squared equal to 34ab. Because 36ab minus 2ab results to 34ab. Our next step will be for us to divide both sides by AB. So I have A squared plus B squared. I'm going to be dividing this by AB equal to the right hand side, 34AB. I'm still going to be dividing this by AB. The reason why I am doing this is because I want to make just 34 to be on the right hand side. So now notice that AB will cancel off leaving just 34 on the right hand side then on the left hand side i'm going to be splitting the fraction so i have a squared divided by the denominator a b plus b squared divided by the denominator a b equal to the right hand side 34. now notice that this a here will cancel off one of the a here so that i have a over b a over b plus now we're going to be doing the same thing to this one b here we cancel off one of the b here so that i have b over a so b over a equal to 34. now notice that the question asks us to look for a over b i already have a over b here but this other term is b over a which is actually the inverse of a over b that means this expression can also be written as 1 all over a over b so let me write this other one this is a over b equal to 34 so let's move forward so since i have a over b here and a over b here i can say let's u be equal to a over b so this means that wherever i see a over b i'm going to be substituting u there so this expression becomes u plus 1 all over u equal to 34. Now, I need to remove this fraction, which is this denominator here. And how do I eliminate fraction? Simply by multiplying through by the LCM. The LCM is u. So when I multiply through by u, I'll be having u squared plus 1 equal to 34u. Now, notice that I have a quadratic expression here. But let's rearrange this expression so that it looks good. So, I have u squared. When I move 34u to the left-hand side, I have negative 34u plus 1 equal to 0. I'm going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. And looking at this very well, you notice that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 34, and c is also equal to 1. Cool. So the value of u can be gotten from this quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So now let's substitute. u is equal to negative b. b is negative 34. So I'm going to be substituting that there. Plus or minus the square root of b squared that means negative 34 squared 
minus 4ac. 4 times a is 1 times c is also 1. Now divide by 2a, that means 2 times 1. So u becomes negative negative becomes positive. So I have 34 plus or minus the square root of 30, negative 34 squared. I'm going to be having a value of 1156 minus 4 times 1 times 1. I have 4. Now divide by 2 times 1, that is 2. So this results to 34 plus or minus the square root of 1156 minus 4. I'll be having 1152 divide by 2. So let's simplify further until we get our final answer. All right, so we can actually simplify this expression inside of the radical. So we have u to be equal to 34 plus or minus the square root of. This expression inside of the radical can be simplified into 576 times 2 all over 2. So this becomes u equal to 34 plus or minus. So the square root of 576 is actually 24. So leaving behind the square root of 2 all over 2. Now let's use this 2 to divide 34 and also 24. So this becomes u equal to 34 divided by 2. I have 17 plus or minus 24 divided by 2. I have 12 root 2. So this is a value for u which can be separated as u equal to 17 plus 12 root 2 or u is equal to 17 minus 12 root 2. And since u is equal to a over b, which is what the question asks us to look for, that means this is our final solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.